Your video ideas are what's stopping you from getting the views you deserve. And what's crazy is YouTube actually gives you clues to follow to show you what types of videos to make that will get you more traction. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step system to uncover those clues that will give you titles, thumbnails, and topics that finally get you the views you deserve. And the first step of this system is to get outside. But why? Scientists discovered that being outside for half an hour actually improves your focus and creativity, which means after a dose of nature, you'll actually find the following steps of this video so much easier. Of course, one thing you do need to watch out for if you do go outside is bears. Next, we need to go and do some research and find some big hitters for your channel. And to help you learn how to do that best, I've actually created a brand new channel from scratch. And we're going to build up its next five video ideas together that are primed for views. So let me introduce you to Kofifi, a channel for coffee snobs. Knowing as much as we can about the potential viewers of Kofifi is incredibly important for this next step because it's the only way we can really work out the ideas that they're just gonna love. So I'm gonna build up a picture of who those viewers are, just like I did in my last video, otherwise known as building an avatar. So here we go. Avatar 1 is 30 to 50. They like the finer things in life. They ski in the winter and they read the magazine GQ and love wearing what the famous people in it wear. They spend a ton of money on their kitchen and their idea of having fun on the weekend is a dinner party. What they love about coffee is the process of making it from scratch. And the first thing they think about when they wake up in the morning is what blend would have more synergy with their mood? And and I'm gonna name this avatar Simon the Architect. <sighs> After you've thought long and hard about who your viewers are, we need to move on to the next part of the system. And here we're gonna build up a list of channels and videos that your avatars will love and click on faster than Simon can say, have a cup of choo-choo on me. If you don't know any channels in your niche to start looking into, no problem. Just type in the biggest question your viewers might have into the search bar and you'll probably get presented with a list of channels pretty fast. How to make a great cup of coffee. And then scroll down and I can see some channels I recognize, but this chap here looks good, so let's investigate him. Oh my giddies. It's actually my avatar Simon. The glasses, the GQ look. This is a jolly good first sign. Next, I'm gonna click this legendary button here, which if you don't see it, it's because you've not downloaded vidIQ, so you need to get that done. It's the trending button, and it's gonna show us something called views per hour. As you'll see when you click it, you're given a list of videos that are currently getting the most views on that channel. In other words, they are hot. And hot videos are a result of great titles, thumbnails, retention, and ideas. So we really need to investigate them because those videos are holding the key to your success. Next, I'm gonna show you how to analyze a channel and this is where the magic's gonna happen. Firstly, we're gonna look at these top videos with velocity and straight away, something is jumping out on me. This is a coffee channel and this video here is about Brad Pitt and it's flying. So we need to find out why, because it looks like it's a totally different kind of video to everything else they've made and I think that's a clue. So I'm gonna hit play and give it a watch. Today, we're gonna to have a look at the new commercial for DeLonghi with Brad Pitt in it. So James might have been smart and hopped on a trending topic here, but I can't be sure that that advert has had a lot of hype. So let's think deeper. Well, to start off with, it's very funny. And then there's the thumbnail. Well, my avatar's into GQ and celebrity fashion. So they're probably going to be interested in Brad Pitt. And the title has expert reacts in it, which is a concept that does really well on YouTube in multiple niches. And then there's weird coffee, which makes you wonder what is Brad Pitt doing that's weird? And then James's reaction in the image really gets your mind going. And I think my avatars would love this kind of video too. And actually from the comments, his viewers really enjoyed it because it's out of the box thinking. And I think that's what you need to do too. So I'm gonna write this down as a potential concept to build around. And what I mean by that is this. So I can see that mixing TV with coffee works. So think about our avatar and their age. You could go back through famous films or TV shows and tear apart everything they ever did wrong in the coffee scenes. Well, actually the perfect idea would have been when the Friends reunion was on TV to make a video about every mistake Central Perk had ever made about coffee. It would then target a trend and break the mold of what to expect from a channel. Oh, hindsight, you are a marvelous thing. Going back to the channel for more clues, we can also see that reviews are popular. So I'd wanna try and cover kit reviews and yeah, we've also got some educational content flying about too. Oh, and this one I love, the most wonderfully absurd coffee brewer ever made. That is top notch. Because if there's something weird or unusual and you can show it visually in a thumbnail, you will get more views. I'm noting that down and then I'm gonna go and research weird coffee things to explore further online for my own video. Next, I went and found four more channels in the niche to repeat this process on. But to speed it up a bit, once I'd found some ones I thought looked good, I put them into vidIQ's competition research tool and that then gave me all of their videos with the highest velocity over the past month, week, or even day to analyze further, which should hopefully help me a lot 
when I try and come up with my finalised video ideas for Kofifi later. Now the first time you do this, I'd really recommend that you do a deep dive too. This overview is perfect though for ongoing research. And then the next step of the system is to do this again. Great, more work. Is getting weird. But this time channels outside of your niche who you think your avatars might also watch. And this is where the best ideas come from. And it's also going to stop you making one of the biggest mistakes on YouTube, blending in. Because on YouTube there's a lot of copying going on in niches and the same information gets passed around. But I believe if you want to get the views you deserve, still talk about the popular topics in your niche, but try and use thumbnails and titles and ideas that have proven successful outside of it. Otherwise you'll just always be a watered down version of your competition. So just start find five channels you believe your avatars might watch. Go incognito, watch a video from your niche and see what YouTube suggests down the side next. Because YouTube's likely to suggest content here that viewers then watched after. And actually I see this video about technology and it's from a channel that I've heard of and the topic is definitely the kind of thing my smart avatars would find interesting so I'm going to go and examine that channel to start. Again, you're looking for videos with velocity here using vidIQ but what you want to do is instead of thinking about how relevant the videos are to your audience, examine just the title structure and thumbnails of their most successful videos. It doesn't matter what it's about. Using the trending tool again, I can see that this video about asteroids on Veritasium is flying so we have to think Think, why? Well, the title and thumbnail is creating a sense of fear in me. And I'm thinking, oh, crikey, what should I be worried about? And that makes me want to click. So what you want to ask yourself is how can you use that title and thumbnail concept to work for your niche? So I need to find something in the coffee world that they don't know they should worry about. Now, a quick bit of research showed that actually some coffee beans are not good for you. So I'm going to write this idea down for when I come up with my video ideas for coffee fee. Now, give me an hour and I'll be back with five more channels. So this is cool because I found there are tons of different things that I could actually try out that are interesting in the coffee niche. Matt Devella was one channel I looked at and actually this video he made here could be a challenge I do on Coffee Fee too. Or you could go the other way and try I drank 10 cups of coffee a day for 30 days. Although don't hurt yourself. And from all that research, this is what I now have. So I started with a simple review video because it's a great way to get search traffic in and fill my channel with many more of my avatar Simon ongoing. And actually every channel I looked at in the niche was doing well with this type of content so I didn't want to totally ignore it. A video about something weird. The idea I've borrowed from James's channel and I just think things like this are interesting, fun and incredibly clickable. Which my research showed too. A challenge video because I want to take my viewers on an emotional journey that will separate it from the others in the niche. And look, a title like that is just way more likely to get clicked on than why you shouldn't drink too much coffee. And that idea came from Matt Devella's hit coffee video challenge. A reacts video because I want to bring in an element of fun, education and I know this title and concept works because of the results it had on this channel which isn't even coffee dedicated. People just love to know if expensive things are worth it. And a health video because I want to keep my viewers safe and surprise them with some information about something they didn't know could be hurting them but really they should. And I've taken this from Veritasium's concept about asteroids. I know it's a lot of work and it's scary to put even more time into the platform but if you do this consistently after a while your efforts will start to pay off. <laughs> if you're still a little bit confused about who your audience is then watch this video next because it's going to help you figure that out and make sure that you don't wake up with zero new subscribers in the morning. Oh hi Benny.